Okay, Shalom. Before I begin, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Basham Yahushai Bahashim Rakakwadash. I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because that's where I learned this truth from. Okay, so I just wanted to go into uh, some basic, something uh, real basic, you know, being a babe in this truth. Uh, myself, you know, of course, when we want to, you know, uh, get these um, basic scriptures down, these milk scriptures, if you will. So let me start off with the scripture first here. In First Peter 2 and 2, as newborn babes, desire, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby, right? And, you know, the milk, the sincere milk, you know, being what? The basic scriptures, okay, such as, you know, uh, color scriptures, uh, chariot scriptures, destruction scriptures, yeah, so like, uh, who, you know, who salvation is for, you know, uh, you know, stuff like that, you know, basics, you know, we want to get these basics down, you know, so that, so that, you know, get this, we want to get the, the sincere milk that, um, you know, like it says here, that, that ye may grow thereby, okay, so let's go into some real basic, a real basic scripture that every brother, you know, should know. Okay, this is Jeremiah 14 and 2. This is a uh, color scripture. You know, get, going into color. Because, um, you know, uh, it's, it's important to, um, to know the, to know, uh, to know, uh, certain scriptures. Uh, let me, um, you know, uh, let me actually just, uh, further explain. Basically, you know, uh, certain men in, in the, in the scriptures, you know, in the Bible, uh, you know, like in movies and such, are, are depicted as, uh, you know, white people or Edomites when, you know, when that that's false, you know. You know, you watch movies, you know, they depict the Lord as a so-called white man when that's a lie, you know. Or even, you know, other men of the scriptures that are Israelites, they, you know, the Israelites being the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, they are depicted uh, incorrectly, Okay. And the reason for that, you know, when you read Job 9 and 24, you, you know, you you learn that the, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And he covered the faces of the judges thereof, right? You know, that's uh, Job 9 and 24. Uh, let me go ahead and just get read that real quick. Since I said it, might as well get it. Here it is, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? So, you know, the wicked, you know, being Esau, Edom, the so-called uh, white people today. You know, their biblical nationality is, you know, the Edomites. But, um, let's go back to where I was at. That's a different topic. Let's go into, back to, uh, on topic of the color scriptures here. Oh, so like, uh, to Jeremiah. 14 and 2, like I said, this is a basic scripture that every brother should know, you know. Okay, Jeremiah 14 and 2, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem has gone up, right? So Judah is what, one of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Judah being the so-called Negroes today, or, you know, the so-called, you know, black people today. Uh, you know, they're of the tribe of Judah. Okay, Judah being the head tribe of the nation of Israel. Okay, and the gate, uh, Salaki, uh, and the gates are of language. Judah mourneth, and the gates are of language. They are black unto the ground, right? And the Hebrew word there for black is Quadar. You know, which means, you know, dark skin or black skin. Okay. Right there, be dark. Okay, so I'm going to grab another scripture now. Okay. In the Song of Solomon, check my Song of Solomon. Yep. Chapter one, in verse five. Okay, I have it highlighted already. Uh, all right. Uh, song, Song of Solomon, one and five. I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. 
Okay, so, um, so basically what it's saying is, because the word, uh, here, the word calmly, it means, uh, attractive. Okay, so basically what is being said here is that he is black, but, uh, attractive or, or beautiful, I believe it also means, I think it means, I think it means attractive, calmly, I think it means attractive, you know, and I also want to go into here the Hebrew because, as you see the word kadar, it sounds like the word kadar, right? And when you look here, it's the same word. A kwa, a da, and a ra. Okay. Uh, and when you go right here, it gives you the definition, black skin. Okay. And then you go written in the Hebrew. Okay. Kwa, da, and a ra. Okay. Kadar. You know, black skin, black skinned. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go into another scripture. A basic, another basic, um, which is, you know, a description of the angels, which is in Ezekiel 1. It can be found in Ezekiel 1. Okay, so Ezekiel 1, and I'm going to start at 5. Okay, because, um, you know, when you look up pictures of angels, if you were to Google, well, let's do it, let's Google, oh, well, uh, I already have the image of something I was going to get, but when you type in angels, you know, what's, the description is not what pops up, you see, this is all, what is this, this is not, this is a lie, okay, because we're going to read the, the true description of the angels, okay. Here we go. Ezekiel 1 and 5. And out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. And every one had four faces. And every one had four wings. And their feet were straight feet. And their feet were straight feet. So lucky. And their, and their feet were straight feet. And the sole of their foot was like the sole of a calf's foot. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Right, so as you can, as like I showed um, before, I typed in burnished brass on Google. And you know, a color like this, right? Burnished brass. Okay. And like you've seen in the other images, you know, when you type in angels, they don't show that. They show Edomites, okay? As you can see, you know, a, a brown burnished brass, you know, brown. The angels are brown skin. And, you know, uh, like it says in verse 5, they had in the end of verse 5, I'll read it again, and also uh, Ezekiel 1 5, also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, creatures, and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, and everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. And their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Okay, so uh, let's see now. Now we know what that the uh, angels were are are uh, brown skinned. We know like. Like it said in Ezekiel 1. Now let's go to uh, another basic a color scripture. You know, the color of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Which is found in Revelations 1. You can read, uh, yeah, read verses 1. Read verses 13. I'm going to start at... Uh, I'll start at 14. Okay, let me see. Uh, his head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So, let's stop. Because we just learned here. We just read here that. We read uh, that his head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. They just told you. The texture of his hair and the color, okay? Woolly hair, okay? And, as a matter of fact, 
like we read earlier that the tribe of Judah what is is um they are, are dark skinned men, right? So Lord and Savior, another basic scripture I'll get out is uh Hebrews is a scripture in Hebrews uh I believe it's chapter seven and verse fourteen because our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai came uh from the tribe of Judah, okay? Yeah, so this is Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood, right? So, you know, Yahweh Shai came out of the tribe of Judah, okay? Now I'm going to go back to that scripture in Revelation, where it speaks on his description. Because now we know what? That, that his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as... As white as snow, so he has white woolly hair, right? All right, let's keep reading. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters, right? So, you know, his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. What color is brass? Brown, as if they burned in a furnace. Uh, so it would be what a, a dark brown okay let's let's look that up let's look up an image let's type in brass burned oh my might as well yeah let me see something see you know here's a more accurate depiction okay there was an image that popped up earlier but it doesn't want to pop up but basically you know as if you know burned any furnace you know so what a uh, dark brown okay all right yeah so now we know what that um, Yahweh Shai had, uh, woolly hair, you know, and it was white, okay? Also, we, we know that, you know, he, he is of, a, a brown skin, dark brown skin complexion, okay? If you, if you, you know, read this, you know, you can clearly see, you know, the, the, uh, description, you can clearly, you know, you can visualize, like I showed in the picture, you know, more accurate, you know, depiction, okay? Here we go. They even show you this, uh, they even show you scripture we just read in Revelation, okay? Alright, so... I think that's all the scriptures I was going to get. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that was just some real basic, you know, because, you know, we got to read the basics t to grow thereby, you know, we got to get those basics down, you know, and this is just, you know, the color scriptures that I brought out, you know, uh, these are important because, you know, I think I, you know, I mentioned it earlier, you know, that, um, that, uh, you know, what you see in the movies and such is not, you know, usually it's not, it's, most of the time it's not depicted properly, okay, they, they, they depict, you know, the Israelites, you know, incorrectly, the Israelites being the blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians today, okay, uh, so, that was just some basics, okay, uh, want to give all Praises on the glory to Habashim, Yahushai Bashim, Rakakodash, and of course, double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, and uh, Shalom.